Hi everyone, it's Angelique from Bright Spark Media and welcome to our Facebook Quick Tip series. Today I'm going to talk about pinning and highlighting. Now I'm going to be specifically referring to my Facebook fan page for businesses, but you can also do these features on your Facebook personal profile. So let's take a look and see what they mean. So I'm just going to show you an example of a highlighted page. You might have seen them on people's timelines. These are the ones that go across two columns of your timeline and have that kind of panoramic look. So if you wanted to create this, once you've made your post, you just go up here to the little edit or remove. This little pencil will have a few features, but this is the one that we're looking for. This is the highlights one, that little star. So this one's already highlighted, but let's say you click on the pencil there you can undo the highlight or you can also reposition the picture which is pretty useful so just click on it here and you can see I can reposition it like that and then just save it so let's say Let's say I decide that I no longer want to have this as a, a, a featured image. So I can just click on this star and since it already is a panoramic, it's just going to revert it to the normal size. So in this case, if I wanted to change it back, I would just put my mouse over and there it is, highlight. So let's say I wanted to highlight this image at the top of my page. Now there's something called pinning which is a really cool feature especially if you've got an event going on or maybe it's a contest or maybe it's just uh, maybe you're a photographer and it's one of your um, your feature portfolio pictures and you want to have it right there visible every time people land right on your page. So that's called pin to the top. So again you just click on the little pencil icon and pin to the top is right here. So just click on that and you'll see that it pins it to the top of my Facebook timeline and it's moved it right to the top and you see this little orange flag here that means that it's been pinned now um, a Facebook post or image is pinned for up to seven days and then it will just default and drop back down wherever it's supposed to be in the timeline now unfortunately you cannot both highlight and pin to the top. You have to choose whether you want it to be panoramic and going across both columns or whether you want it to be featured um, at the very top of your timeline. So right here you can click on it again and you can unpin it at any time. So there's lots of different other features in here. Um, if you need to reposition it again you can do that. Uh, you can hide the photo from the page. Let's say you decide you don't want it visible for whatever reason. Um, you can also edit your album, change the locations and things like that. So that's all from this little pencil icon right here. So that's a really useful tip, like I said, especially for highlighting important events and um, if you've got things going on or like your star photo that you want to show or it's a really important post that you want to share with people and you would just highlight them or pin them to the top. So that was just a really quick tip today on highlighting and pinning. Stay tuned next time with more Facebook tips. Thanks!